be the best sword you've ever seen. Check this out. So we got a cylinder here, make polymesh 3D, and hell, even just right off the bat, I can go into my custom menu here, or you can use your um, brushes here. And let's say, oops, let's go ahead and do intensity of 100. We'll drag this out here. Now, if I want these to be one object here, oh, well, they are one object now. If they weren't one object, I can go ahead and just split that off. Um, so now these are two separate objects. Now I could merge these down. Now, if you're talking about merging it and also like blending it, you could probably use, you, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You can go in here to group by normals, give that a nice poly group here. Uh, this normal map, this group doesn't really matter here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these down. That's under your merge menu here. And then we'll just go ahead and dynamesh these together. And now that I have this top poly group, I can isolate that, invert that, make that a poly group. And now I can just use Zeria Mesh. Let's go ahead and take this one first, though, and we'll do a polish by features open circle. And we'll just smooth that out a little bit. So now that I have this, let's go ahead and polish by features a little bit more. There we go. So now that we have that full shape, now we can go in here to Zeria Mesher. And we can say uh, target ball kind of count of five, drop that down, keep groups, smooth groups down to zero. And this will give us new geometry. It'll be all welded together, those two shapes. So that's one way. Um, another way is to use Mesh Fusion, which we'll go over in just a second once this is done. And we probably should turn on X symmetry as well. So that's going from 144 at 1,000 active points to like say 70,000. Uh, it's still gonna be pretty high, but all we need to do is we're gonna go into X symmetry here and then we'll do half Z remesh. And now let's keep dropping this down. There you go. So now you've got one nice solid shape here. Um, if you wanted to use Mesh Fusion for this, what you can do is go to the top here, go to BI Brush Insert, and you can go to Brush Insert Primitives H, and that means there's a hole in the back. We'll do an H sphere. We'll drag this out on this poly group here. And now when I move this up, I control drag, don't have Dynamesh turned on, control drag again, and that'll use Mesh Fusion to just fuse those two together. Cool beans. What are the strong points of Houdini? It can do anything and everything, and on top of that, it can also do it procedurally. Uh, not only moving them close to each other, but you also need to make one model from the two objects. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just combine it together. So let's take this one here, we'll duplicate it, we'll rotate this. Oops, turn off X. My, my my default would be just Dynamesh. That just make, that's the whole point of Dynamesh is to do this type of stuff, right? Or you can use Booleans if you want to. Um, let's undo that. We can go, okay, I want Control Shift A. We'll go ahead and split this. We'll make this one poly group. We'll make this one poly group. And then uh, on this one, it's additive here. So if we want to make it a little bit more robust, let's go ahead and reset this. Let's move this up. Let's go ahead and just do a quick mirror and weld. And then uh, we'll take this one. Uh, you know what? We'll duplicate this one off as well. But this one, we're going to make a subtractive mesh. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to a quick mirror and weld. Oops. Let's do a quick mirror, mirror and weld. There we go. And then this one, we can be subtractive. So now when we go into our live Boolean render, which is this button up here, we can get this result. So these will be welded. These will be unwelded here. And now when we go into our subtool, Boolean, make Boolean mesh. There's our Boolean mesh here. And now in this one even, you could Ziri mesh it. So if you like this, you can go in here, do your whole uh, Ziri mesher, adapt to size down, keep groups, smooth groups, to Ziri mesh this thing. And that'll give you new geometry here. And now it's nice and you can subdivide it or whatever you want to do. It's all one object, new geo.